good morning. Hey, welcome to a live cooking show. Let's dominate this game. All right, you see the title? That's what we're gonna try to make, okay? Um, just a little uh, heads up. I came across this video. I think it's Sam's cooking guy. Um, guy's a genius, love that guy. He probably doesn't know I exist, but I envy everything he does. He seems so real. But I haven't seen him cook live though, but eventually it will happen. He'll jump on that bandwagon, but let's get started, all right? Temperature wise. Hey, just curious, what do you guys think of our new profile picture? The black and white one? Give me a heads up, comment below. It's a new thumbnail profile picture of the channel. Just wanna get your opinion on it with the black and white color. All right. So we're gonna leave this off, but once we turn it on, most likely we're gonna go medium. This one is where we're gonna cook all our smash burgers and we are gonna go high. Okay, so while that's heating up, I have it already oiled and I already have it um, warmed up, but I'm just gonna take the precaution, add a little bit more oil. for our protection. Don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so let's talk about this sausage, this Italian sausage. All right. We're gonna use the board. That's why we have it turned off. We're gonna use this as a setup, okay? Uh, pick whatever uh, Italian sausage you have access to. All right, um, this morning I bought this one. Apparently it's a new brand. All right, it's probably coming to a market near you. All right, let's get started. So basically the same thing as before, we're just gonna turn it into a little ball. Um, I think I've done this before on a breakfast dish. This one, it's gonna be more for lunch. All right, got my gloves so you guys can arrest me. You food police. All right, I know I used to, when I first started out, I used to get a lot of comment about touching the meat with my bare hand. They acted like I was gonna die. But then when I told them that uh, I was Filipino and I grew up in the Philippines, so that kind of gave me a little leeway. Oh, I got gloves on so I can't zoom in. Maybe if I can, I should have zoomed in before. All right, hopefully that's good enough. All right, enjoy the scene. We got it already heated up and I'm not even gonna season it really, but let's just make us a little ball. Nothing fancy. I really don't know how many I'll be making, but we'll figure it out. Just grabbing about this much. I don't know if you could see. I don't know how much that is, but it's really up to you. If you want a bigger burger, make a bigger ball. We'll set it on there. I think these are pretty good size. Just roll them a little bit apart. That's the cool thing about going live. You get to watch me do all of it in one shot. I can't really tell you what brand to buy because I don't know where you guys live and what's uh, popular at your grocery store. So. I try to just make it as vague as possible because if I tell you a brand, then that brand doesn't come to your local grocery store, then you're gonna get discouraged from making it. That's why I always say, make it your own, you know? I mean, it's cool if you copy our recipe to the T, but really all ours is um, based on notes. We come up with an idea, 
or we see something like on YouTube or something or a vlog or a blog. Yeah, we try to twist it, you know, try to make it on the Blackstone griddle, kind of add our own recipe to it. Because some seasoning we don't like, to be honest, as a family. Some seasoning we do not like. So we don't add it into our recipe. There you go. Last one. What do you guys think so far? All right. So now that I satisfied all the food police, let's smash these. You don't know how good this feels because if you, if you follow my channel from the beginning, I used to mess up all the smash burgers. And to be able to do this right in front of you live, and so far I'm three of three. What? Yeah. So I noticed if you smash it and then slide out, it works pretty cool. Pretty cool. Check it out, I'll show you. So what I do is I just smash it, right, for like a few seconds, and then just slide out. What? Look at that! Look at that, that's perfectly round. Look at that, that is perfectly round, holy crap. See, I'm telling you, even though my first video sucked, I knew that the more I make it, the better I was going to get. Yeah, my first smash burger video was a huge fail. But now I think I might get it right. What? It's getting easier. This feels good. This really feels good. Next time, I'm just going to be able to make it really fast, huh? I think I'm getting the hang of it. So I just smash it, and then just slide out. What? This is crazy. This is crazy. All right. We're just gonna let it cook for a few minutes and let's do the onions and bell peppers. That's, oh, let me zoom in one more time. Look at that. You can tell I started to get better. It's only gonna get better from here, I'm telling you. I know my first few videos, ooh, it was trial and error. People were making fun of me, but I think I'm starting to get it right. All right. So we have, we're going to use green bell peppers today and we're going to do onions too. All right. If you're wondering, I do have my notes today right here. All right. And we're going to follow it. Let me add a little bit of uh, olive oil to it and we'll just let it griddle it'll cook on its own i just want to make sure all of it's touching the griddle you got all this space to utilize all right let's see if it's time to flip it oh yeah the good thing about smashing them is they're really thin Ooh, look at that. it is coming along 
we got our onions, right? Then we got our burgers. All right, let's season them. I should have seasoned the one earlier, but it's all right. We'll live. All right, pick whatever seasoning you want. I'm gonna pick our favorite one, and you know what that is, and that is the rub, all right? I'm not getting paid by them. I just have a good friend that has this seasoning for his company, gave it to me because he says the rub is for everything, so let's find out. Let's season it, let's get carried away. Why not? Look how beautiful these colors turned out. Look at that. That's cool. Pick whatever bell peppers you want, you know? But look at that. All right, All right I think we're coming close to being done, so I'm gonna work on the buns. So I'm gonna turn this side right here. I'm just gonna turn it off. Don't worry, it's still gonna heat up. And I'm just gonna place everything here. All right. Keep everything here. Look at that. See that? Let's work on some buns here. I'm just setting up the buns real quick and then I'll be right there. All right, here we go. We're just gonna toast our buns, nothing major. All I'm gonna do is just put butter on there, just like so, all right? Nothing fancy, these are bottoms. We're still medium, we're still medium on the bread, on the bread side. Now, I know what you're thinking. You would probably use the gar our secret garlic butter on this, huh? Hey, Danny Stewart. Thanks for joining, man. Appreciate it. Flow Yak Life. Thanks. Love it when you guys are online. And, of course, Leprechaun TV. Hey. Hey, I got to show you something, Leprechaun. Check it out. I know in one of your videos, you are you were saying, or you or your buddy was saying about to own a black stone, you gotta have a, you gotta have like a, a lifetime amount of uh, paper towels. Check it out. I found a way to fix it. Check it out. Look. You gotta put that, you gotta put that towel next to you. All right, use that. It'll save you some money. You might have to do more laundry, but it'll save you some money. All right, let's. Let's look at the notes. Check it out. Let me show you guys the notes really quick. All right. I don't know if you can see it. First burger, we're going to have burger and cheese. Second burger is going to be burger, bell peppers and onion, and then cheese. And then burger, cheese, burger, cheese. All right. So that's what we're going to make.
I'm gonna use some big ones. All right, first one. Here, it's probably better if I put you guys closer. All right, let's go with the first one and then I'll explain everything else, all right? First one is just gonna be cheese, okay? We'll let that melt. And the next one is gonna be burger. Let me get some, a big one. Let's go with, we'll go with this one. So we're gonna go with burger. And then some bell peppers and onions, right? Bell peppers and onions, like so. And then what I wanna do is I wanna see if we could trap it with the cheese. You know what I'm saying? I hope I'm making sense. I'm gonna see if the cheese like traps it in there. And then the next one is just basically like a double cheeseburger. So we'll go with this. And another one of this down here. Okay. This is gonna be like our double cheeseburger. All right. And I'm just gonna pop it to a low. Just wanna show you guys really quick. All right, just popped it to like a low medium. All right, because what I'm planning to do is just do a quick steam. I don't want it too hot, but at the same time, I want to create something. All right, I know it's getting crazy. I'm going to turn this side off. Move this side. Let's see if our buns are done. Oh yeah, see our buns? All right, turned, I turned everything off. We should be good. This one's still medium low. Let's start setting up our burger, okay? So what I wanna do, I'm gonna set it on here. Let's set this up. Ooh, that thing is hot. Let's see how that's looking like. Ah! Perfect, that's all I want, just like that. Let me show you how I wanted it, and it kind of worked out just fine. Lighting kind of sucks. Sun's coming out on me, you see it? That's what I wanted to see if it would trap with the cheese, and that's what I was going for. Regular cheese, double cheeseburger. All right, let's set up and make you a sandwich. Things hot. All right, let me see if I can zoom in. Hopefully, help you guys out. All right, this is the part where you get to put whatever spread you want on your burger. You know me; I just bought this uh, last week, and I still have a few more. So this is what I will be using for our channel for a while. All right, so add your own spread: ketchup, mustard, whatever you like. I'm just gonna go with this. My kids said they love it. So that's a spread we'll be using one more time. You can find it at Walmart. Trust me, they're not paying me. They don't even know I exist. Check it out, leprechaun. Oh, I got something on my finger. Check it out, Pick. towel. I love your videos, man. I love it. I could probably put more, but I'll play with it. All right, first one is gonna be, first sandwich is gonna go like this. It's gonna be the peppers and onions. There you go. 
And then we're just gonna do our typical uh, cheeseburger. How does that look? Let me show you. Look at that. Look at that. That looks delicious. All right. Second one, you're gonna love it because it's already made. There we go. I just love that look because look, let me move the cart out of the way. Look how the cheese traps the onions. Onions to the burger. You see it? The onions and the bell peppers, they're trapped on top of the burger. I love that look. I love that look. All right, so the next one is just gonna, we're gonna leave it plain. Let's say they don't like onions or bell peppers but they love mashed burgers. And that's all we're gonna do. Boom. And then of course for the tops, right? For the tops, we're, all we're gonna do is put a spread. Look how beautiful that is. Can't beat this, I'm telling you, can't beat it. Let's go check out some thumbnail pictures. All right. Let's do one of these where they're just leaning on them. Ugh. So amazing. All right, let's keep them in the shadow. Let's give them a look. There we go, guys. Leprechaun TV, this is for you. All right, there we go. There's your thumbnail flow. What do you guys think? All right, you got the vegetables. All right, so right now you have all the bell peppers and uh, onions under, underneath with a burger and cheese. And then you have a burger with onions and bell peppers underneath the cheese, kind of trapping it. Then you just have your double cheese burger. All right. Hey, I love this picture. Most likely I'm going to be using this as a thumbnail. So, hey, just want to thank you guys for joining. You know what to do. And hopefully you guys can catch us on our next live video. All right. Bye. Flo Yak Live, thanks for joining. Leprechaun TV, thanks for joining. Mr. Ohms13, thank you so much for the support. And let's see who else was watching. Oh, Danny Stewart, thanks for joining. All right. I don't know how to say it. Hernandez281, thanks. M. Hernandez281, thank you for joining. All right, you guys check each other channel out, support each other, and the Outdoor Diner. Oh, thank you for joining. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.